Bomba! I don't know. Oh, do you know what bomba means? Bomba! I don't know. Bomba! I bet I'm doing it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Supplement Engineer channel. My name is Robert Chinetsky. As with me as always is my lovely wife, Sandy. Today we are going to be reviewing Bomba Essential Amino Acid Supplement from ASC Supplements, which stands for Athlete Strength and Conditioning. They are a veteran-based brand that does a lot of relief work. They do they donate 15% of their profits to combat veteran suicide and they help with natural disaster relief funds. That's really nice. Um, so with the recent hurricanes that they had the past couple of years in places like Miami, Houston, Puerto Rico, stuff like that, they do a lot of you know outreach efforts and things like that. I'm gonna stop you. So if you so. buy this, you get what's known as the halo effect, where you feel good about yourself for buying it. Exactly. I believe like that. Now, I've previously worked with the guys at ASC when I reviewed their El Jefe pre-workout a few years back, which was a high-energy, pump-based pre-workout. Um, they're doing some reformulations on that, so expect to see that review uh, coming down the pipeline in a couple of weeks once we get our hands on the new batch. Today, we've got our hands on the flavor that they have, strawberry mango, of their Ooh. EAA supplement, Bomba. So before we get into the way out of the tub and the flavor taste and the sandy keeps shimmying and shaking. It's just such a funny name, stuff. Bomba. I don't well, know. Do you know what bomba means? Bomba. I don't know. It just sounds cool. <laughs> well, it's a dance and a musical style from Puerto Rico, so. Bomba. I bet I'm doing it. <laughs> 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 keep going, keep going. Keep going. I, don't, I don't know. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. So it's all, in addition to it being a dance and musical style, it's also a bomb amino acid supplement. So bomb amino bomba. Get sure. it? Sure. Wink. So, anyway, here's what the profile is. We've got six grams of branch chain amino acids, two on one. So we've got three grams of leucine, a gram and a half each of isoleucine and valine. And then we've got the other six essential amino acids and 300 milligrams of lysine, 300 milligrams of 309, 300 milligrams of phenylalanine, 50 milligrams of tryptophan, 25 milligrams each of histidine and methionine. Now this EAA profile is similar to some other EAAs that we've reviewed in that you know, you're getting the brunt of everything in the form of the three BCAAs. So we're getting seven total grams of essential amino acids Which here. is good. Six grams of that is the BCAAs. You're getting one gram of essential amino acids, so, but you're getting that little pixie dusting of the other three that are the really bad tasting aminos, like methionine. So you're only getting 25 milligrams of that. Okay. And 300 milligrams of the easier to flavor ones. So. I just want to make sure I'm understanding. So mm -hmm. this is good. It's, it's supplying all nine essential amino acids okay. that you need to support protein synthesis in the body. Just trying to understand. Yeah. Yes. So we're getting six grams of BCAAs, seven total grams of essential amino acids, but that's not all. We're also getting, we also have the intracomplex. So we get a gram of taurine, which is a conditionally essential amino acid that supports hydration. It can also support focus because taurine is stored primarily in the heart, skeletal muscles, and brain. So there's also, in addition to enhancing hydration and okay. endurance performance, okay. it will also uh, support a decrease in muscle soreness following exercise because there is some research showing that the combination of BCAAs and taurine helps limit muscle damage and accelerates recovery. I like it. We're also getting 500 milligrams of coconut water powder, which hey. is going to be rich in electrolytes, especially potassium. Cool. Uh, we've also got a gram of Pico2, which is a patented proprietary blend of six organic Ayurvedic mushrooms from mushrooms! Exactly, Compound Solutions, which has been shown in a few re research trials to enhance oxygen kinetics during performance, peak power output, time to exhaustion, stamina. It's all, all good things. things. Yeah. Now the saturation dose for that is 28 grams. So Gotta you need 28 grams. to take this for 28 days straight or take 28 servings, divide it out across however many days to reach that. Now this is assuming that this isn't your only source of Pico2. You might get it in some of your pre-workout, some of your post-workout. It's kind of like beta alanine, creatine, and Okay, so you have to be saturated before it takes effect. Yeah, and you can take it any time of day. There's not an ideal time of day, but we're getting an extra gram in here, so that's nice to have. Random question! What if I was crazy and I felt like getting all 28 grams today? Does it work like that? Nobody's shown any research testing that out yet. I, I think the most dose that they've taken in a day is four. Oh, four okay. times a day. So you can take, uh, you'd be saturated in a, in a week. Okay. But technically you could take 28 in a day. I don't I really just know what would happen. Maybe some GI distress. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. Call people at Compound. Call Matt Titlow at Compound. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've also got a 100 milligrams of Spectra Total Orac Blend, which is a patented blend of vegetables, fruits, and other antioxidant uh, plant oh, compounds okay. from Futraceuticals that has been shown to uh, limit reactive oxygen species in the body, improve nitric oxide production, and improve uh, your antioxidant potential. 
Antioxidants keeps you healthy. Yeah, so antioxidants, gonna, when, every time you exercise, the body's gonna release a lot of free radicals, which leads to oxidative stress um, in the body, which is obviously gonna decrease muscle performance. Huh. Now, the one thing that I've always been concerned about in regards to consuming antioxidants in and around the training window. Okay, tell me. Is tell that, me. all right, you're, you're limiting oxidative stress. Okay. But exercise, intense exercise in, its, in and of itself induces inflammation in the body, yes. which is beneficial because your body needs to become stressed and then it It has to tear itself up and, 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 and heal itself to get stronger. Correct. So by taking antioxidants, you're actually limiting that. Limiting the amount of breakdown. And I want more breakdown because then I'll get buffer. To a certain extent, yes. So the, the question is probably the dose makes the poison. So while some antioxidants may be beneficial for enhancing exercise performance, too much will limit the hypertrophic adaptations induced by resistance okay, training, which okay. has been shown where you make a dose things like vitamin C and vitamin E, right, which are extremely right. powerful antioxidants. That's interesting. Yeah, so it's um, um, interesting. Um, there hasn't been any research showing uh, comparing hypertrophy when you're dosing something like Spectra in and around the training window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to see some research on that. But still, it's got some good stuff showing that it enhances nitric oxide production, decreases reactive oxygen species in the body, and limits oxidative stress. So from that point of view, from an antioxidant point of view, Spectra is a pretty good ingredient. And then finally, we've got 25 milligrams of estrogen, which is a complex of astragalus and panax notoginseng, which is enhances the uptake and bioavailability of essential amino acids. How does my body nutrients. take it in? Yeah. Exactly. All okay. right. All right. All right. So we've got the tub. We need to weigh it out. We're going to do a flavor review, and we'll be back. Okay. Fully sealed tub. Mm hmm. Let's do this. Dang! All right, if we come up short, well, we've got two grams of powder right there. <laughs> okay, so we'll just... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. I gotta be honest with you. All right, so we've got 11.9 grams per scoop, 30 gram, 30, 11.9 grams per scoop, 30 servings per container for a total of 357 grams of total product. Three, five, seven. Got a little thingy. Take out the dusky packet. Take out the thingy. Take out the scooper. Take out the scooper. Three, five, seven, right? That's our, that's our target. Yeah. Remember, if we're short, we spilled some. Looks about right. Because we spilled some. We spilled. Apparently, we filled about eight grams. We didn't. That's not eight grams worth of powder. That's not eight grams worth of powder? No, here, we'll scoop it into the tub and see. Oh, wow, we're really doing this. We are. We're going all in. Right there, buddy. Don't forget that guy. Right there. There we go. Okay. Right. So we're still six, seven, oh. eight grams short of product. We yeah. are short. Just a little bit. All right, we'll weigh out a scoop. How much is a scoop? 11.9 grams. So we're pretty much short a scoop. Half scoop, yeah. Okay. You said 11? 11.9. God, I hate that. Level scoop. Ten. Sorry, so that's with intolerance. Back, we've got two shaker cups mixed up because the directions say mix one scoop in 10 to 32 ounces of water. So we have one shaker with 10 ounces of water and one scoop. We have one shaker with 20 ounces of cold water and one scoop. Um, and Sandy had a bit of an issue with the dosing directions. She's just wondering why. That's just weird, right? Like, you're talking about a huge, huge difference between 32 ounces and 10 ounces. So yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was weird. Like, I've never heard of such a range. Yeah. I'm expecting this, I don't understand this 10 why. ounce shake to taste super duper sweet. Right. Like why would I need 32 ounces of water yeah. for what it is you're giving me? I don't know. Am I supposed to drink it all day? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. 10 ounces. Mixes up easily. No excessive foaming. This is the strong one. The 10 ounces. Yes. Okay. It smells good. It smells very, very good. It smells like super fruit juice. What am I drinking again? Strawberry mango? Strawberry mango. And it doesn't look like there's any settling on there. And especially from the Pico too, that can happen sometimes. I don't know. There's some, there's some like, there's still There's still powder. a little bit of particulates there's in There's still particulates in it. So it didn't shake that well. Okay. But I didn't shake that one. It's really good. It tastes like fruit juice. Literally tastes like fruit juice. Wow. You know, like a, like a fancy fruit juice that comes in a bottle as opposed to a jar. That is awesome. This is really good. That's even better, I think, than the strawberry mango extend. 
Extend is BCAAs, which is seven gram BCA powder. I don't know how you keep all that information in your head. He has tried so many um, different supplements, and he can just pull because that is one of my favorite tasting supplements of all time. Strawberry mango that of Extend really BCAAs good. is awesome. I can make a mimosa out of this. This is better, and this has EAAs and Pico two in it. I'm I'm impressed. Oh, because Pico Pico two is supposed to taste bad. Tastes like mushrooms. Oh, this doesn't like taste like mushrooms at all. This tastes good. Yeah, switch, have, it tastes like a fancy juice. I have Pico 2 mushroom powder in here. Like a fancy juice. Like one that you would... Sell this in your lemonade stand. Here, Charger I've got some bulk Pico, Pico 2 powder here. I'm going to let you taste what bulk Pico 2 tastes like. Just drag, toss that in your mouth real quick. I'm not top. Can, I just, can I just like... Nope, you got to do the whole scoop. No, I'm not going to do the whole scoop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. okay, so that, and there's for all of you out there that have seen this before, there is a video out there of me taking a full scoop of the dome of Pico 2 and you get to see my reaction, y'all have seen that before. Okay, okay, wait, let's try the other one. All right, 20 ounces of 10 water. 10 ounces is great. Yeah. I'm afraid it's gonna be too watery if you do 32 ounces. Why would you do 32 ounces? You're giving me a lot of my champagne flute. I know. I wanted one of these today. I mean, it tastes, this tastes like flavored water. The other one tasted like juice. That's the difference here. Yeah. This tastes like a flavored water. Do you know what yeah, I mean? There's, like a, there's some, I'm trying to place the, the flavor. Um, it's like a creamy. Creamy? It looks like strawberry creamy. Creamy? Like no. Strawberry cream or something. No. I'm getting something on it. No, it's just refreshing. It just tastes really watery. Yeah. But it's not watery like, mm, this water, I don't taste it. No, it tastes like a flavored water. It is yeah. light. Still just as powerfully flavored as LaCroix, if you will, um, but uh, but just more water. I mean, it just has a flavor of water yeah. versus the other one that tastes like juice. Yeah, which I imagine if we went all the way to 30 ounces, I don't have a shaker cup big enough to hold 32 ounces uh -huh. of water. Nobody does. Um, but I would imagine that it would taste even lighter than this. I my The sweet spot for me is going to be like probably this. This in the, really the 16 ounce range because I like a, a, a strong flavored drink. Okay. You might like something lighter flavored, especially if you're going outside for like a, an outdoor workout or you're going wrong or something. Picnic. Picnic. If you're on the beach and you want to mix this, you're doing some bomba dancing and doing whatever. <laughs> um, as far as flavorings in here, we've got natural and artificial flavoring, malic acid, good. Cipernat, sucralose, Super ACE-K, and FDNC red number 40. So there is some artificial colors in here. Um, and the two artificial sweeteners are ACE-K and sucralose. Okay. Um, it is great, by the way. Great. Yeah, both of these are good. There's no art, nasty artificial aftertaste. They did a phenomenal job of covering up the Pico 2. There's yeah. only one gram in there. You really start to notice Pico 2 when it's included in the 2, 3, and 4 gram range. After, uh, after some so yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then... Okay. Uh, yeah. Anything else? I don't no, we were talking so. about the like. Sometimes Robert likes to. I don't know if you diss EAAs or BCAAs, and he's like, "Well, if you're getting enough protein, then it doesn't really matter," or something like that. And I said, "Okay, well, okay, like when you say it like that, you make it sound like I'm a moron for uh, drinking my EAAs and BCAAs if I'm eating enough protein." And I said, "Well, I mean, if what if I want like a flavored water? Isn't this better than a flavored water?" I think it provides more substance. So I would say, even if you are getting enough protein, I don't think there's anything wrong with fruiting up your water. <laughs> you like with something that has some healthy water? stuff in it. <laughs> right? You, especially, everybody likes those little squeezy, squeezy things in the water. Just use this. That was it's not that I have an issue with branch chains or essential amino acid formulas. I like what you My said. My thing, yes, branch chain amino acids or essential amino acid formulas. The thing that I'm trying to convey is that a lot of people just come in the comment section and also say, well, they're useless if you're getting enough protein. And that's true. No supplement is essential unless you are deficient in something. That's why this name is, is supplement. supplement. That being said, there are a lot of people that are proponents of intra-workout nutrition, consuming branch chains or essential amino acids during the workout. Now, a lot of the research has shown that provided that you're consuming enough protein, that they're not going to confer any additional benefits. But if you're but you know, somebody that is consuming a vegetarian or vegan diet and you're not getting enough leucine and enough amounts of the BCAAs in your diet from those plant foods, you know, these things can help supplement that and boost and get a greater mTOR response in the body. Okay. Um, do I think you're doing any harm by consuming BCAAs yeah. and EAs? Yeah, do you think you're doing any harm? No. There you go. 
Um, but remember, they do have calories, even they don't list any calories on the label. That's because there are some labeling guidelines where if it's not a whole soup full whole food. About how many source. calories would this be? Seven grams of essential amino acids times roughly four to five grams. You're looking 30 calories? At, yeah, 30, 35 calories in there. 30 calorie beverage. Yeah. Um, plus whatever other trace amounts of, I mean, there might be a gram of like carbohydrate of from the Pico too, since that's a blend of mushrooms. It's just mm -hmm. powdered mushrooms, so that's technically a gram of carbohydrate. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, if it's, if you're somebody that doesn't, has trouble getting enough protein in their diet or is just looking to get some extra essential amino acids in there, then yeah, BCAAs and EAAs can be useful. Are they going to dramatically increase your muscular gains and do, you know, all these fancy, fancy Superhero things? Superhero things? Right. No, of course not. No okay. supplement's okay. going to do that. That's what special sports supplements do. Um, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Huh? Oh, steroids, right? Exactly. <laughs> we don't say the S word. We don't say the S word. Wait, They're special I... sports supplements. Okay, should you... You're going to get us kicked off YouTube. I was going to say, should you not? No, I'm just messing <laughs> with you. <laughs> so, any closing thoughts, Sam? No, I think this is delicious, by the way. I think it's fabulous, strong, and fabulous light, depending on what you want. Yeah. Thank you to the guys at ASC Supplements for sending these out to us. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video, and stay tuned for more reviews on the Supplement Engineer channel, guys. Bye.